In early 2013, Miriam travelled from Papua New Guinea to Brisbane, Australia for the South Pacific Division's World Changes Youth Congress. At the Congress, Miriam asked God how she could change the world. One night, she dreamed of trees full of fruit with no one to harvest them. After the dream, she thought of her father's old village back in the highlands of Papua New Guinea. She felt convicted this was the village God wanted her to change for Jesus. Back home, Miriam shared her dream with her church and asked if anyone would go with her. Only one person responded, a nine-year-old boy. The next day, the two set out alone. For two and a half days they walked until they arrived at the village just before sunset Friday evening. Miriam's aunt and uncle were waiting for her and said, we knew you were coming and you've got good news for us. Miriam was shocked because she hadn't told anyone she was coming. But she certainly did have good news and she eagerly shared her testimony with every family in that village. After listening to Miriam, the blind 80-year-old village chief rose to his feet and he asked her to come back and bring her Adventist church to their village. That day, salvation came to a village because of a nine-year-old boy and a girl who followed a dream and prayed to change the world.